Well, hello, my lovely, beautiful, and handsome Aquarius. How are you guys doing today? This is Midas Touch. I hope that all is well with you. Keep in mind that these are just general messages, so not everything will resonate. Please take what resonate and leave what does not. Let us begin. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, what's the energy that surrounds Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of November the 11th of 2024. Please speak through me and through the cards for the viewers. Please also protect me and the viewers from all harm. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Okay, he's got the all the feels, throwing shade. Mm. Okay, the fago or fugo, I always butcher words, and the F up or the fucked up. I have to say the word how it says it. So if you don't mind me cussing, but if you do, I apologize ahead of time. I do cuss from time to time. So as far as the energy that surrounds you, all the feels. Now I'm feeling this is a person that is admiring you from afar. I'm feeling to tell someone you don't know who this person is. And but they are admiring you. They seen you before at some sort of event and they did not have the opportunity to formally introduce themselves to you or casually introduce themselves to you, but they found you through social media. It's like they wanted to know who you were so bad and they actually manifested you in a shape or form through social media. And this person is, they're paying attention to your, your, your page or how you carry yourself. They're even asking around to see what's your reputation. And you could be the type of Aquarius, you fall back from a lot of stuff. Like you're very much of a, a, a hermit. Like you don't really, when you do go out, you go out, but you're not a person that's going to be on scene like every weekend for this particular Aquarius that I'm talking about. And this person is really, it's like they're catching feelings for you due to the fact, excuse me, I'm talking so fast, due to the fact of the good things that they are hearing about you or how you present yourself. Like, And I know that kind of sounds a bit odd, but there are certain people, they fall they fall in love with the idea of how the person present themselves. So some of you Aquarius are very upright in the visuals. You're not involved in too much mess. You stay to yourself. Um, you have your standards, your integrity. You don't really hang out much with too much people. You have a few select few that you can truly call friends and they like this about you. For others of you, this is someone that you currently know, but right now you guys are focusing on other things. Like you know this person, but the the situation or the friendship or relationship, it hasn't progressed to much serious state. And I'm feeling to tell someone it's going to progress. It's like once you guys get settled down, and I don't know why I would say it like that. I'm trying my best to make the message sound clear the best way that I can. And what I mean by settled down, you guys have a lot on your plate for a particular group of Aquarius. And I almost said Scorpio. So this person may have... Um, even though I didn't say it out of my mouth, but it was in my head to say Scorpio. This person may be a Scorpio, another Scorpio that you're dealing with. Mm. Yeah, okay, okay, another Scorpio. <laughs> or they may have a Scorpio somewhere in their natal chart, meaning they don't have to be a Scorpio sun sign. They could be someone that has Scorpio in their Venus or Scorpio in their rising or Scorpio in their moon, because I almost said Scorpio, or you may have Scorpio somewhere in your chart. Yeah. Now the third uh, group of Aquarius that I'm feeling, 
this is someone that you're already been speaking to. You guys been taking things slow and it's slowly progressing into something deeper. Like you're feeling a connection with this person. You're feeling like you could be safe with this person, that you can open up yourself to this person. Now, you got some you got some hating people that doesn't like this particular relationship. There's going to be someone criticizing this relationship. Now, even though the card is shows a man and a woman, there's a particular Aquarius. This could potentially be a same-sex relationship. And I'm not here to judge, but um, it could be a same-sex relationship and your upbringing or how you were raised, they are not accepting of this because I'm getting someone being criticized for who they're dating. But for you, love is love. You're feeling very happy with this individual and you can give two Fs of how people feel. Now, there is someone, I have to say this, you got this homegirl, and I don't know if it's because she's single, but when you and this person get serious, it's like this homegirl is going to be like, are you sure you want to waste your time on buddy? Because all these all these dudes, ain't the, they ain't what they cracked out to be. And she's speaking from a hurt place. It's like you're going to be forced to limit what you share with this homegirl because she likes to trauma dump her issues or problems. This could even be a relative who didn't have the best relationships. She likes to criticize relationships. However, like I said, you could give two Fs because this relationship is going to be heating up. It's going to be intense. You guys are going to become closer. Now, the other card that came out in your reading I'm feeling like someone may go through cold feet. And what I mean by cold feet, when the relationship starts to intensify, you may say, oh, am I truly ready for this? Oh my goodness. It looks like such and such is falling a bit <laughs> head over heels for me. Am I truly ready for this? Like, this is kind of scary. I never had anyone look at me this way. And I don't want to, you know, break anybody's heart. But am I truly ready for this? Those are just self-limiting thoughts. And when they come up, find a way to say, shut up. <laughs> and you might have to say this when you're away from people. Because if you say this when you're outside, they may say, oh, he or she needs to be put in a straitjacket because how she's telling herself to shut up. Yeah, it's going to look crazy because I'm picking up on someone really feeling a part of them catching feelings for someone and a part of them saying, you know, you're not ready for that, right? But that is impulsive thoughts. Those are not truly your thoughts. Like, because I feel this person, they are genuine. They like what they see. They they feel like you guys have some sort of bond that could grow. A very strong bond that could grow, actually. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now, I'm going to get some other messages for my lovely, beautiful, and handsome Aquarius. Let me cut these deck of cards out for you guys. I just got tired. I don't know if you guys have been working a lot lately or you guys are tired or you guys are um, are a bit not sleeping well because I just got tired. This may not be pertaining all Aquarius, by the way, but I just got tired. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian. Look at these cards. <laughs> Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, please give me some extra messages of the energy that surrounds Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of November the 11th of 2024. Thank you. Mm. The Page of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Chariot card. Yeah. <laughs> the Two of Wands. The Four of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles. Mm. So I feel like these cards are speaking too. 
because the page of cups card <laughs> this is someone who they tend to wear their heart on their sleeve and this is how this individual feels about you like they want to bear it all like they want to offer you their cup and they want you to drink from their cup and i did mention a scorpio earlier so with the page of cups this can actually be another water sign as well such as a pisces cancer and speaking of pisces cancer you got the chariot card which is a card about a cancer it it normally correlates with cancers but it doesn't necessarily have to be a cancer zodiac sign but I do feel this person is going to be making their way towards you. This person will have to, for a particular particular Aquarius, this person will have to muster up the courage to come to you. Because you're kind of a bit intimidating. And you're a bit, and you may not even take yourself that serious, but you're a bit high maintenance. You could be a man that's high maintenance as well. You could be a woman that's high maintenance because there's something intimidating about you. And it's the fact that you require, you know your worth and you know what you deserve. And they may feel like, oh, I, I can't really play with this Aquarius. This Aquarius is someone, you know, she's somewhat of a big deal or he's somewhat of a big deal. Like, hmm, Okay. Now, this person, yep, they they are watching you from afar. They are watching you from afar, and they do want to take action. And I am getting an energy of someone strategizing, someone strategizing how they can come towards you, someone strategizing of how they can break ice, like break the ice with you. Like, they don't want to come across as being cheesy, like some of you guys don't know this person at all. For some of you, you know this person as far as you could have met them or known them through someone else and you just aren't really seeing them in that way at this time. For others of you, this person wants to also travel with you. They want you to travel with them to another area or another state or country and they want you guys to bond with each other like they feel that this would be a great time for you guys to bond with each other more now there is a particular Aquarius this week you're going to want to get more recovery time or solitude time because I was feeling on someone feeling tired so I don't know if you're overworking yourself or you're going to be doing a lot of things this week because the four of swords came out and it's a card of being tired or needing some sort of away time from something like hmm however I'm feeling good energies for you for this week because you have the Nine of Pentacles card. So if you've been working hard, it's going to um, benefit in the long run because this card is a card of seeing the fruits of your labors, seeing the, the things that you have worked for coming in for you. And it's very well deserved. Now, <laughs> speaking of the Nine of Pentacles card, you guys are going to be feeling in a very um, comfortable place. If not this week, I'm feeling it's going to happen very soon where you're going to feel very comfortable, not really worrying about a lot. Like when I say not worrying, if it's something in regards of you saying, I'm always short for something. I'm feeling a particular Aquarius reaching the point where they're not going to be short. For something they're not going to have to lack for anything and I don't know who this message is for but whatever you're doing keep on doing it because it is manifesting and it's coming to you slowly for some of you it is slowly but it surely will come and I know someone that wants to hear nothing about something coming to them slow but it's something that would be worthwhile if you were to get it quick it would go away quick that's all I can say 
So I'm going to stop the reading here for you, Aquarius. Um, please hit the like and subscribe button. If it didn't resonate, please also watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I would really appreciate that. Um, and hit the like and subscribe button as well. You guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.